Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today lecture, we are going to discuss the load transfer mechanism in buildings. So, how the load transfer from one component of the building to another component of the building, and which component of the building is more responsible as compared to the another component of the building. So, let's consider this is any building or any structure, we can see any frame structure, which is the composition of four main uh, important elements. These are the slab, this is known as the slab, on which uh, the people usually rest, usually move or work in offices. So, this is the slab. And slab is being attached to the beams, which are the horizontal members. So these are known as the beams. On four sides we have beams. These all horizontal members are the beams. And after this, beams are attached to the columns by the reinforcement. So this is known, uh, this, uh, these are known as the columns, which are the vertical compressor members. Columns, because they mostly take the load and compression. That's why they are known as the compressor members. After this, uh, the columns are being supported by the footing. Depending on the load, we provide different type of the footing. It may be uh, it may be split footing, it may be a single strip footing, or so on. So it depends on the type of the load and the type of design. Design. And below the footing, after this footing, we have soil. And soil should be also considered in the design so that the soil have a maximum or a higher bearing capacity than the load coming on the soil. So these were the main component of the frame structure. Now how the load transfer in these components are in these structural members. So if I consider the same diagram here on the right side, so at the same components, the slab, then the beams, horizontal member, then the columns, and then footing, and then off below the footing we have soil. So now we divide the load basically and the slabs into triangular part. So we, do, we say that the load is divided in triangular part acting on the slab. So this, these are the people moving on the load or the furniture placed on the load. It may be dead load or live load. So we divide this load in triangular part and we say that triangle is acting here on this beam. The slab the slave moves this load, triangular load, to the one beam here on this side. The other part of the triangle puts the load on this beam, on this horizontal member beam, and the other triangle puts the load on that beam, on that beam. And similarly, this triangle moves the load from the slave to this beam, which is a horizontal member. So in this way, the slave divides the load into each beam. Now, so we can say that the slab divide the load into beams. Now, after the beams, for example, the load coming on this beam here from this triangle of the slab, now this beam will transfer this load on this side and half on this side. To where? To these columns. Similarly, the load from this triangle of the slab will be transferred to this beam and this beam will transfer the load half to this column and half to this column. And similarly, this column will also take the load half from this slab. So we see here that the load has been transferred from the beam to the column. Similarly, also these two beams transfer the load from the slab to the column. And also this column will take the load half from this beam and half from this beam. So the beam transferred the load to the columns. Now after the uh, load from the columns, now column what will do? The column will transfer this load into the footing. This or our footing depending on the type and design of footing or on the load acting on the footing, we provide the footing and these columns transfer the load to the footing. And after the footing, the load is being transferred to the soil. Similarly, the load here 
from this footing will be transferred to the soil in a distributed way. So this soil is now responsible to take the load of the footing. And we must have to ensure that the soil bearing capacity should be higher than the load coming on this soil. So this is the way how the load is being transferred in a frame structure. First of all, the load is coming on the slab and then slab divide the load into triangular way and then on, into beams and then beam transfer the load to the columns and the columns to the footing and then to the soil. So hope you guys understand how the load is transferred in the building or in a frame structure and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.